Hey everyone, my name is Erin. I am going to show you today how to easily, or the easiest way, to remove the background from a photo when you have a subject that has um, hair, which, you know, there's the fine wispy pieces that fly out and you, it's hard to, you know, you can't just auto trace around that or anything, but there is a pretty easy way to get rid of this background um, in the case that you want to change it out, switch the color, put a photo behind it, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. Uh, to do that, we are going to use the background eraser tool. So in order to access that, you'll want to click and hold down on your eraser tool in your palette and choose the middle one, background eraser. So that's the tool we're going to be using. There's a few things that we need to do first. Uh, we're going to call up our layer uh, palette once you have your photo open and we're going to double click on the background and we're just going to name that woman. Um, that way we can edit that layer and it's not necessarily background layer. Now we're going to go up to the corner here and we're going to select new layer because we want to create a new layer and we're going to fill this layer with a bright uh, color so it's contrasting to the main image so let's just call this bright color and once you have that new layer created we are going to use our selection tool over here the rectangle we're going to do a control A to select the whole um, layer and then let's choose a color over here in our color palette just click on the top box and I'm gonna just for sake of tutorial purposes I'm gonna pick a nice bright green so we have a high contrasting color hit OK and then when you have that whole layer selected um, make sure that on your layer palette you're on the new layer that we just made you're gonna do an edit fill make sure that foreground color is selected and hit OK so it's just gonna fill that whole second layer with the bright color that you chose and we need to drag that layer down underneath our main image so you want your your photograph on top on the top layer and your bright color underneath um, now we can go ahead and let's deselect that layer so you can do a control or an apple D so that your selection goes away and we are going to make sure that we have our background eraser tool chosen and then there's just a few settings that uh, you want to make sure that you have before we get started here. The first one is your sampling. Sampling is going to pick up that background color. The, the background that you want to erase is what that is going to pick up. And you have three options. And when you have a background like this one, which is pretty much all the same solid color, you can go ahead and choose this middle one because it's just going to sample once. It's going to sample one color. Um, if you had a background with a gradient or different shades of different colors, you would want to do continuous. So let's go ahead and do the, choose the middle sampling. And the limits can be set on contagious. And then this last option here, the tolerance, is is really the only other thing you're going to have to kind of play around with. Um, the tolerance is how close to that pixel color it's going to pick up. Um, so if you have a low tolerance, it's going to stay really close to that one color of gray pixel. And the more you bump it up, the more shades of that color it's going to recognize. And it's just a matter of finding the sweet spot um, as far as the best sweet spot as far as picking up enough of the background but not too much of the subject. So to get started let's zoom in here and start right on the edge here of this photograph of her hair. So we're on our background tool and you can adjust the size of your tool up here on your tool palette. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And the hardness should be all the way to the left, meaning it's not going to be hard, it's going to be a nice soft edge. Then we're going to start right where the background hits the hair 
and we're going to click on the gray. Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. Make sure on your color palette or on your layers palette that you're on your photograph layer. And we're going to click once. Oh, that's where I clicked before. <laughs> okay, so I accidentally erased some of my background layer because that's the layer I was clicked on, but that's okay. Um, now that I'm on my photo layer, I'm going to start erasing. And as you can see, my green from the background is starting to show through. So let's take that a step further and let's get a little bit closer to the hair and you can kind of see it in action. So I think actually my tolerance is pretty good. Um, but let's show it's all the way up to 74, which is quite a bit. Let's um, drop that tolerance down to about 50 and see if that works any better. So I'm clicking right next to the hair and it's still leaving the fine strands because it's only picking up the gray. I still think that I could get a little bit better. So let's drop it down even more. Let's try 35. There. That looks pretty good. It's removing the gray, but it's leaving the stray hairs. Let's see what it does when we go in here. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Let's leave it. Um, okay, so we're going to keep going down here around the shoulder. Should give a nice crisp line. It's looking good. And don't worry about, you know, erasing all of this out here. Let's just outline, get the hairline done first, and then we'll go back. So let's keep going around. Make a nice halo. Keep in mind I'm doing this somewhat quickly because it's a tutorial. You are welcome to take as much time as you need when you're actually doing this yourself. Okay, so we're going to finish going around these edges. And I'm going to get the inside here. Down to the shoulder. Okay, so I have a pretty good outline. It's looking pretty good. We still have a lot of wispies here and it doesn't look like one just outlined solid thing. So now um, you can go back here to your eraser and go to the regular eraser tool. You can make a pretty big brush because we're just going to get rid of all this other extra outside stuff. You can keep the hardness at zero and then you can just erase all this background. It's a little bit quicker. I'm going to drop it a little bit smaller so I can get in here close. And again, you can take as much time as you need with this. Um, if I was doing this um, for a project, you know, I would get in here now and fine-tune fine tune these edges. Um, you can smooth them out a little bit with your normal eraser. There's a little spot there, there's a little spot there. This side actually turned out really good, even though it was quick. Just going to smooth that out a little bit. Awesome. And because it's bugging me, I'm going to fix this hole right here that I made. Let's 
Okay, so now you have changed the background and the sweet part is if we go to our layers and we have our background color selected, now we could go to image, adjust, hue and saturation. And when you play with the hue slider, now you can change that background color to whatever you want, which is really fun. Um, another cool thing you can do is you can hide this color layer altogether and you can use a photo. So I'm just going to use this stock photo, copy and paste it into the background of this photo. So um, just make sure that your stock photo layer is underneath your main image. And voila, now she's behind bricks. So I hope this helps. There's The possibilities are endless when you know how to remove the background of a photo. So have fun with it and make sure you let me know if you have any questions regarding this tutorial. You can email me at any time. My email information is below. And happy photoshopping.